Hi guys, today we're going to be looking at how we can find the perpendicular bisector of any two points. So first we really got to ask the question, what is the perpendicular bisector? Well, if you look at this, here we've got two points, let's call them A and B. And the perpendicular bisector is that line that goes perpendicular to the line AB, like that, so that's perpendicular and goes through the midpoint of AB. That is, it divides the line AB into two equal halves, right? Here to here and here to here. That's what bisector means. It means something that divides into two halves. And the perpendicular bit is obvious, right? It's just that this line, the green line, must be perpendicular to AB. So let's do an example. Let's see how we could find the perpendicular bisector. Let's look at these two points. Here we've got A is 2, 3, and B is 10, 7. How could we find the perpendicular bisector? How could we find this line here, the line that is perpendicular to AB and that goes through the midpoint of AB? Well, remember to find the equation of any line, what we need is a point that that line goes through and we need the gradient of that line. So in other words, we need to find the gradient of the green line and the point that it goes through. Well, we should be able to calculate the point because we know the point is going to be the midpoint here. So we just got to calculate that midpoint. And if we remember back to our previous session, how do we find the midpoint of A and B? Well, what we do is we take the two x coordinates and add them together and divide by two. So we get 2 plus 10 divided by 2. And we do the same for the y coordinate. We take the two y coordinates and add them together, 7 and 3, and divide by 2. So we've got here uh, 3 plus 7 and divide by 2. So we know the midpoint is going to be the point 6, 5. Right? So we already know a point that our line goes through. So now we just got to find the gradient of the green line. How would we do that? Well, we don't know the gradient of the green line, but we can find the gradient of the blue line, right? We can find that gradient here. Let me just draw it for you and find this gradient. And how do we find the gradient of AB? Well, we've looked at it before. The gradient of AB we can find by doing y2 minus y1 y2 minus y1 because that's this length here so we can get 7 minus 3 divided by x2 minus x1 right this minus this because that gives us that length there so 10 minus 2. so what this is going to give us is 4 upon 8 or a half so that's the gradient of the blue line. We'll call it M1. But how does that help us to find the gradient of the green line? Well, remember from a previous class, what we'd said is that if two gradients are perpendicular, then their product, M1 times by M2, must be equal to negative 1. Right? So if we know that M1 is a half, right? so a half times by M2 is equal to negative 1. Well, that tells us that m2 must equal to negative 2. All right, so we now know, to clarify, the gradient of the green line, and we know a point that it goes through, 6, 5. Well, if we know that, then we should be able to get our answer. So let's just clarify again. The gradient that we're looking for is, uh, is uh, minus 2. And the point that it goes through, the midpoint is 6, 5. So now we can just use our formula y minus y1 is equal to m x minus x1. And we can substitute in our point 6, 5, and we can substitute in our gradient minus 2. So we will get y minus 5 is equal to minus 2 x minus 6. And if I just expand that, y minus 5 is equal to minus 2x plus 12. 
And so y is equal to minus 2x plus 17. And that is the equation of our perpendicular bisector. So to recap, to find the equation of any line, we need the gradient of the line and the point that the line goes through. For a perpendicular bisector, we can calculate this point by finding the midpoint, and we can calculate our gradient by finding the gradient of AB and using the relationship M1, M2 is equal to negative one for perpendicular gradients. Okay, so I hope that helps you guys. See you next time.